Yo, 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 what up? It's the, uh, yeah, you're watching. Join me with my people now. Stay up, alright? Don't be in the building. Yeah, it's the building. letting you have fun you understand i think next time we need like a, a very controversial question yeah? Contro yeah. you know i had a controversial <laughs> question but i've been warned i've actually been warned not to ask yeah, 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 yeah. this is the first you. time that that i'm actually getting gifts from a, a presenter like this in an interview and i, I feel oh. like i feel like this will put you on the map Step by step. Hello, Inyanya. You know what? Before we continue, I need to make sure I'm getting your name correct. Because I'm always yeah. saying Inyanya, Inyanya. How would I, how should I pronounce your name? It's both correct, but Inyanya is fine. Inyanya is fine. Yeah. Do you have a nickname that you want me to call you? Or should I just go Inyanya? Inyanya? Inyanya means desire, so I started with desire, but Inyanya is fine. Beautiful. Yeah. What a gorgeous name. So how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm very good. Good, you've been here since yeah, Monday. Yeah, chilling, UK, chilling. Performing, Coco Bar. Tell me a bit more about that performance. How was it? I, I had fun, you know, like I always say, every time I'm on stage, I just, you know, let it flow. I just feel the energy from the crowd and I yeah. reciprocate, you know. Have you ever had an experience when the crowd isn't, like, ecstatic to see you and you had to, like, force that, that kind of energy out of them? Yeah, 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 those times, but... Most times it's not it's not like a, a show show proper. It's like maybe dinner with all these rich guys. Rich guys. Yeah, and then. So where was my invite? I don't understand. That boy, you're in UK, so. Oh, you're talking about back home. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I get I get a lot of love when I'm on stage. Okay, so how are you coping with the fame? Women, men throwing themselves at you. How do you do? I with mean, you? I love my fans. You know, I appreciate. My fans, every one of them in London, America, everywhere, because they they help me. You know, they they help me manage the whole thing. Because yeah. when you have some saying something negative, some are saying something positive. So I just try to balance it, and I, I put my eye, you know, on the price, and I keep going. The the only reason why you know the relationship that I have with my fans is music, music oriented. So if I derail. I'm loving your accent, by the way. I'm just Thanks, listening man. to that. Feel that. Okay, now you're best known for the 2008 MTM Fame project. That's yeah, what you want, project right? Project Fame, yeah. Did you ever envision yourself coming this far, seeing yourself where you are today, the height that you've reached? Did you ever think, yes, this is where I wanted to be and this is where I am now? My, fan, my fans have helped me come this far, but then as a child, I always knew I was born to do this. I knew. It was in me to be a star. I don't know why I could feel it as young as I was. And that, 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 you know, just made the passion even stronger and deeper. So I just kept getting it. Okay, when did you first discover your love for music? Children's Choir. Right. Yeah, Tell you know, more. Children's Choir, and they had this video. Um, my dad got this video for, for myself and my cousins. And it was like a sing-along. Yeah, so when you're singing, the lyrics is right there, and I was the one that always played it. When you perform on stage, yeah. are you ever shocked or overwhelmed to the point where you become teary-eyed, where you just want to jump and scream? It's very hard for me to cry, bro. Really? But then I, I know there are times when I'm on stage and I just get so speechless because of the kind of love that the fans show me, you understand? But, you know, I'm, I, I can't cry, you know, like, but... <laughs> 
I feel it. Yeah, I you can know? imagine. You know, most times when people cry these days, it's fake. So you some, talking about artists or just generally? Everybody. So right. standing on stage and crying, and I mean, it's just personal, you understand? You released the singles Love Truly and No Time before Kukere. Yeah. So what was it about Kukere do you think won you over so many fans? Yo, you know, God always gives um, every artist that one song that just puts you on a map and that's, yeah, that was Cooker for me. And then I, I think it was unique because of the dance too, because, you know, the video had the dance and fans like to be part of the movement. They like to feel like, you know, you, yeah, you guys are family, you understand? So when you dance and you know, when they dance and you put it up on Instagram, to some people it's annoying, but to those people you just you just want their hearts, you know. That's what it is, man. Yeah, with the kind of body you have, why do you tease women? When you're performing, you know, yeah. like at Cocoa Bar, you yeah. ripped off your top, and women were passing out all over the place. You saw them, you saw the kind of response they gave you. I don't tease them, man. I sweat on, yeah, when you when you're jumping up and now you, right? it's very hot, and then you have like a, a lot of beautiful girls there. The room is even hotter, so you have to take your shirt off and just get it's some like air. Ross, right? yeah, trust me, man. If Rick Ross can, why can't I? You know what I mean? You know, what I mean, you've worked hard for your body. Thanks. Now, man. what state of mind were you in when you wrote Kukure? Did you sit down and think to yourself, you know, I need a song that's a hit? I know you said that God always gives artists that one song, mm. but were you sitting down thinking about the type of song that you wanted to write before you released it? You know that song has just one verse, and when I wrote that verse, it was just me. Um, it was just me thanking God for things that are happening now. You get what I'm trying to say? When I was saying thankful for all He has done, I was thanking God for, you know, like, everything that I had then and how far I come and also the thing I get some money you know I didn't have a lot of money like I got you know I didn't it was just me just having faith and just trying to also because in, in Nigeria okay people music is like the one of the only things that makes everybody come together in Nigeria you know what I'm trying to say so I wanted to sing something that everybody could sing Everybody has a reason to thank God, right? So Absolutely. I just, you know, just me being thankful. And that's why the song connects. That's why once it comes up, once it comes up anywhere you are, you, you feel that uprise, you know, you mm -hmm. feel that elevation one time in your spirit that, oh yeah, this is how, it's not really, people don't even dance all the time when they hear Kukuri, they, they just move, you know, yeah, they just. you feel it. You're a business management graduate. Yes, ma'am. Why didn't you pursue that? Why didn't it's, you just it's, go it's, get it's, 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 it's music business right now. Managing my music business. How long do you see yourself doing music for? Forever. I'm gonna do other businesses, but I do never be me sitting down in one chair for that. I will never in my life. I love music. Music is my life. And if I made this much money, mm. you know, with this level, I just imagine me now being a professional, like professional, professional musician. You are a professional. You don't. You don't. No, no, no. I don't like to give myself that title. Right? Title not because right now. not right now. I still feel like I have a whole lot of. Yards to cover. Now let's talk about your demeanor off stage and you as a person when yeah. you're not on stage. Are you quite quiet? Would you put yourself an introvert or would you say you're still quite boisterous? Depends on who I'm with. There's some people that I'll be with and I won't say a word. And the people that I'll be with now just turn up. It depends on the vibe generally, you get me? Yeah. But generally as a person I'm I'm quite chill, man. I think I I, I don't get too excited. No, no. matter what. Even when you're walking down the street and people leap on your shoulders. And at that like, point, oh, I think I, I get shy at that point. Seriously? Yeah, but I don't, I, I don't, I don't, be, my energy level is just stage, man. It's just, it comes alive like that when I get the mic and I hear the songs and the sound and the speakers. That's when I, another me just. That's your calling. Yeah, yeah that's just, exactly I, 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 sometimes like, when I'm done, I'm like, what happened? I don't even know what happened. Like, I don't even know what happened, trust me. Let's talk about your life before you became the Inyanya that everybody knows. Yeah. Right? You were raised by a, a father who was a forester. 
Okay. And your mother was a head teacher, right? And unfortunately, they passed away yeah. during the 2008 MTA Project yeah. Fame yeah. competition. Did they get the opportunity to see you win? Oh yeah, my mom was there the day I won. That's one of the things that, you know, just makes me know that whatever, she just saw me win, you know? Yeah. Yeah, at least before she left, she saw, it's like, Beautiful. this child was, you know, the nine months was not a waste of time or, the pushing and everything, the labor night and everything was not a waste. Look at him, he's a star right now. I made a star, that's, that feels good. Even if he wasn't a star, she knows that your nine months was never a waste. Unfortunately, after that, your brother passed away, your elder yeah, brother yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that affect you as a person? Man, I just keep getting it, man. Life, life. It's hard, but then life must go on because even the people that, the, when, when they leave like that, they don't want you to give up. Definitely. <laughs> so, I just keep pushing, I keep, you know, working, I keep achieving. You know, I'm yeah. proud of you. Thank you. I'm very proud of you. Has it made you more self-reliant? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I do what I want. I don't, nobody, I, nobody fools me, you know what I'm saying? Good. Like, yeah. It's what I want. If if you if you think you're fooling me, you know, I'm just letting you have fun. You understand? But I feel like yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm aware of my my environment. I'm I'm aware of people. I don't know. I'm aware of everything. So I'm just like this. <laughs> you're looking at them from the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who inspires you? Right now, now, right now, I'll just say my my sisters. You understand? Because I feel like the. I am the only person that they they look up to. It. So when I think of them, even when at times when you feel like giving up and stuff, and then you just think of them like, like mm -hmm. you can't give up now, because if you give up, this this kids will lose it. So you just have to keep. You're known as Mr. Wine Your Waist. Yeah. Was that song intentional? No, yeah, I didn't even write it. We were having a um, like a house party, yeah. So. We, we make the beats in the morning, but then the beat was too monstrous. On, on its own, it was a hit. People was just moving to the beat, and I said, I called my cousin, I said, just record your waist, your waist, all I want. Now, as, as the days come, as the beats are made, those words just come in my head. You just start singing, you don't have to write. No, 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 except I'm writing like a love, I, I write, I take a lot of time to write my, Love songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Away is one yeah. of my favorite songs. Yeah. Like I love Mr. Oreo and I love Bukere yeah. and the rest of them. But Away, that's my Thank, song. Thanks. Can you sing me a line? You have a beautiful voice. Right? I know that you're feeling me from away. I saw a camisón to my boy. That's it, man. Your voice just sounds the same as it does on yeah, the record. Man, it's a blessing. Definitely. Tell me more about the Inyanya Foundation. It's my own way of saying, acknowledge the fact that I'm where I am because of you guys. So, yeah, let me just use this name that you guys are, you know, giving me mm -hmm. to just be a blessing to you guys. When did you start it up? It's been there, you know, it's been there. I've been doing all that charity stuff, but, you know, I just felt like officially, It'd be nice to just let the world see that I appreciate them. Yeah. It'd be nice to, to go to a place where there's no food and they're like, hey, now we're eating and it's a foundation. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing. And also when you do that, yeah, because you're a role model to a lot of people, I'm sure there's somebody that didn't think giving uh, food to someone was a big deal till, you know, they now check, oh, if Yaya could, you know, actually take his time out, this busy guy, concerts every day, flying every day, if he could take his time out to go to the less privileged, then I can, well, you know. It's humbling, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. You inspire lots of people in your yeah. own world, so once they see you doing it, they, 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 I've got, I've got a whole lot of companies, a whole lot of people trying to be a part of it, and I'm very thankful. Right. You know, any, any way that you can be a blessing to, to people, you should. Absolutely. Yeah, because that's why you're blessed, actually. Mm, so that you can bless others, yeah. right? Word. My next question yeah. is about what the future holds for you. I don't know. Do you have any plans for yourself? Like maybe open up your own of business? Of course. Any, it's any, a clothing line, any, any, shoe but, line? Anybody without plans is 
is a failure. The future is in God's hands, you understand? Yeah. <laughs> The future. That's what I'm saying. You are an exceptional recording artist, singer, songwriter. Yeah. And this, this is my opinion. Thank you. you. Thank you. Who would you say is your competition at this moment in time? Myself. Right? Yeah. Do you watch your videos back and think, I could do better with that? I listen to um, constructive, you know, criticism, criticism yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? And I sometimes I have to go back and just, oh yeah, this person was right, you know, so we can do it better. <laughs> and I sit down with my team and say, yeah, this fan said this and, you know, yeah. yeah. Does it make you cringe when you watch your video back and see you dancing and stuff? Do you just rather not, would you rather just not see yourself? No, I, I know, every, 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 every time that I drop a video, the only time I see it is when the director sends it after that. I see it, I just bump into it, like, oh, that's me. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's me, man, it's me. Like, I can never be watching myself, like. Makes you feel Come on, kind of like, <laughs> that's too, that's too much, man. Does like, it shock you? Is that what it is? And you're like, wow, that's actually me on that stage. Oh, man. I, the feeling is I, I just don't want to be in me. that. <laughs> box right there like oh that's me oh i did that oh <laughs> I, I didn't do that oh. you don't want to like, worship yourself no, 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 no. Now, any of your fans want to follow in your footsteps and become mm. an artist what advice could you give them god first hard work passion you know just be sure that you're you're doing what you were born to do that's that's it because that's the only way you make money man you know what i'm saying don't do what somebody's doing because they're making money don't Good don't have wrong role models you know it could be your dad it could be your mom because like i always say and i keep saying it some people some people want to be musicians because they see us as an artist and yes. and is it that easy you just get up one day become an artist yeah. get some money and buy some good clothes and guess what most times they they, they end up spending so much money and they don't get any you understand mm, mm. but you have to just find yourself you know because sometimes you, you're out there struggling to be a musician and drive a lamborghini and if you were an actor yes your money will find you 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 won't find you know the only time you can say you're making money is when money looks for you. Like, you lie down like this and they call you and say, hey, I want you to come through. And you're like, what's up? They say, I, I want you to come and do this thing for me. I'm going to give you 80,000 pounds. And you were sleeping. At, and so many times you get pissed and you're like, I'll call you back, man. And that's 80,000 pounds. Because you're doing the job that you enjoy. So it doesn't feel like you're working. Exactly. There you go. Great. Thank you so much, Nyan. Thank you. Now, the next segment of this interview is called Controversial Moments. Yeah. So I have two controversial questions for you. You ready for this? Will you answer them honestly for me? Who has been your best collaboration to date? I'll say, I'll say right now, I'll say Willow. Lovely. Okay, yeah. Well you know, because as, as, a young, as a young guy, you know, I grew up dancing to a wee little song, you know, French song. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. He's achieved so much and he's very, very down to earth. He's, 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 he's like, hey, when you need me, I'm there, you know. I and mean, this is somebody that I'm actually supposed to talk to, like three people, because he's big, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's been there, he's, he's, a, he's a legend, he's a king. He has songs that will never die for as long as we are alive, you know what I'm saying? The final question. Yeah. I want you to put these artists in order of the best artists. Wizkid, Sakura, and Ice Prince. Man. Go I'm with your heart. I, I, let, me, let me be real with you, okay? Yeah. There's no way that you can yes, you can say any of these guys that this is the best and this is number one and this is number two. You know why? Because they're different. Wizkid is. I like that answer, you know. Yeah, Wizkid is Afrobeat and he's good. Mm. Sack holes, nobody does it like sack. The same thing with ice. Once you hear ice, you know it's ice. So I think next time we need like 
a very controversial question. More yeah. Contro yeah. You know, I had a controversial <laughs> question, but I've been warned. I've actually been warned not to ask. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this one is quite safe, man. But you think I'm so? glad I passed so it. So I should ask you the question that I want. Nah. Nah, I, I, know, I know where you're going. No. Everybody just. Do you don't know what the question was? This is the thing. Okay. Now I have one more thing that I want to do. Yeah. I yeah. do this for all of my guests. Like, yeah. yes, sorry, and you are no exception. Okay. So this is from me. And your fans, it's from all of For us real? on the journey. Yes. Oh, thank you so much, you do, man. You give back, like the Nyanya Foundation, your performances, just everything. You put your time, your heart, your effort, your soul into it. Thank you so, so much. So I just wanted to bless you with that. Thank you. Can you can open man. it now, you can open it later. It's completely up to you. Yeah, I think I'm going to cry when I open it, so I'm just... I don't know about, <laughs> you know what? But yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Crying. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome. This is the first time that, that I'm actually getting gifts from a presenter like this in an interview and I feel like I feel like this will put you on the map because oh, thank you. Because if I Instagram this right now and another artist says this will be like, oh yeah, I need that too. You wanna give to me? Just kidding, but thank, thank you, you so much. much I appreciate for your time. I thank appreciate you. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks. But a big shout out to the man behind the camera too. Thank What's his name? <laughs> Christian. Christian, shout out, all right? Bless up. Yeah, I'm a mama.